Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How many of you guys have the Flash player installed? Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, if you're watching this, you are likely watching it in the Flash player, and you might not even know it. David Rittenhouse uh, sent me an email that uh, I thought would be interesting to share with everybody, if only to uh, explain uh, kind of what was going on behind the scenes, and it's in regards to Adobe's Flash player. David writes, I ran across something interesting. Adobe Flash keeps track of part of your browsing history. Specifically, it records the locations of websites you visited that have Flash elements, which is a lot of websites nowadays. Here's how I found this. Adobe has a website that you can visit to change your Flash security settings. I discovered it while I was in the process of getting a Flash clock enabled for my Windows XP desktop. Anyway, while I was there, I clicked over to the Privacy tab of the Flash Player Settings Manager, and I found a fairly long list of sites that I had visited. Try it for yourself and see if you see the same thing. By the way, I had to visit Adobe's website using Internet Explorer since I couldn't even open it with Firefox 2. Maybe that's a separate issue, but I thought I'd mention it in case you get the same glitch while trying to access Adobe's website. Is this a privacy issue? Can the people at Adobe see this list of websites also? Will they tell my mother? Uh, well, the bottom line is, um, you have nothing to worry about. Adobe doesn't keep any of that information, it's just all of that information is stored locally. The easiest way to get to the settings, or advanced settings for the Flash players, if you're on a page like live.perillo.com, and you can right-click on any Flash object, or even youtube.com, right-click any video, go to settings, and then on the first tab you should see the first tab of that the, the settings little settings dialog you'll see an advanced button and on that advanced button it will take you to basically the settings manager and this is all hosted remotely uh, I can go over to the website privacy settings panel and from there I can tweak uh, different aspects I can see all the uh, websites I've visited allowing them to access uh, Flash on this machine or not access Flash. And right below it, if you read it, this hopefully uh, David caught this, or certainly he will, it says, the list of website above is stored on your computer only so that you can view or change your privacy settings or local storage settings. Adobe has no access to this list or to any of the information that the websites may have stored on your computer. I have absolutely no reason not to believe them, I, I do trust Adobe in this capacity. Um, that's They would have been totally blown out of the water uh, by privacy advocates had they uh, been able to snoop at your mm, flash history without your knowing. Now, this is the reason why I brought this up. There's a lot of things that you can tweak with privacy settings and storage settings and access settings and, and questions that get asked and yada, yada, yada. But again, it's only accessible uh, through right-clicking a flash object like a YouTube video or the video at live.perillo.com, going to settings, and on the first tab, pressing the advanced button. That's the easiest way to jump to these particular links. And then from there, you can tweak away. Um, for the most part, do you need to even go that far? Nah, not really. But if you want to know what's going on behind the scenes, at least Adobe has built in that feature for you. I don't know. What does everybody else think? Um, I'd ask if anybody else is not running the Flash player. But as I said before, if you're watching this video, chances are you are running the Flash player. Chances, not every single time. But anyway, uh, if you have any other suggestions for changing the privacy settings for the Adobe Player, any software out there uh, that many people may not know how to get to straight away, if there's a security setting that should be tripped by default that isn't, please leave a suggestion or send me an email. I'd be happy to share it. Or in some cases, you know, if you've got a general question for something that you may have uncovered, it's uh, something that's good to toss out to the community at large. Uh, you're welcome to email me, chris at perillo.com, or you're also welcome to swim by our chat room anytime, day or night. We're typically talking tech, uh, not always, but uh, usually, and even if I'm not there, certainly plenty of people are, and yeah, see, they're already telling you they want you to stop by. We are waiting for you to stop by. Don't worry, we're not going to invade your privacy. I'm the only one who's, you know, running around here in my house with 
crazy things happening. Eh, it's my privacy. God, that is kind of not private, is it? It's kind of eerie. You're watching me live right now, aren't you? I'm kind of freaked out right now. I, I'm going to change my privacy settings. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see you soon, hopefully, at, at, at live.perillo.com. See you later.